Hello all, welcome to Just an Oval. Whether you're waiting around for your gym to reopen or you're new to fitness, free YouTube fitness channels are the most economical way to get movement going at home. Chloe and Emmy both provide challenges which you can follow over a few weeks and get to enjoy the results after. So which YouTube channel workout challenge master is for you? I've tried both of them so that you can make a more informed choice. Emmy Wong is the first fitness YouTube channel I've come across. I like her bubbly personality, her cute dog, and the vlogs and storytelling she does with her husband. I relate to her party days, but not so much of the extreme dieting and weight issues. Chloe, on the other hand, has dabbled in fashion and moved on to fitness instead. I like how she's more grown up. Her other content may seem more informational and has many guide to life kind of videos, which apparently keeps getting shot down by fitness professionals for not being that truthful. However, I'm here to exercise and burn some calories so the extra content is not a draw for me. We're not here to waste a day by following someone's personal life but to get ours in check. Accents may matter to you, especially if you're thinking of Emmy or Chloe as your trainer during the workout videos, giving you as much motivation as they can. English is Emmy's second language after Cantonese, so sometimes the pronunciation differs. However, because I've stayed in Hong Kong before and learned the Cantonese language, it doesn't affect me as much. Chloe's accent is Australian. She's Chinese by race and originally from Brunei. So she speaks like a typical Chinese race of Australia. Accessing Emmy Wong's challenges is harder as you have to scroll through her Facebook page. She doesn't have a dedicated website like Chloe, but you can save the challenge pictures on your phone and search for her titles on YouTube on a challenge day. It's a bit more inconvenient than having a website constantly available to you and each video a click away. I like that both Emmy and Chloe's challenges will list the total time required for each day's challenge. The only issue with Chloe's is that she sometimes writes the wrong total time for all the videos in a day and she does not list the individual time needed per video like Emmy. With a better breakdown of total time required, it makes it easier to plan the day ahead. Here's how the YouTube videos go. The start of Emmy's videos start with her posing for about 2 or 3 seconds by showing you the body you're supposed to achieve. Not sure whether that's to subconsciously push you to get that perfect body. She's also usually having an advertisement portion that goes on for about 2 minutes, but she explains it for dog and husband. If you're doing her videos often enough, you know how much time to skip. The start of Chloe's videos are usually about her explaining the type of exercises and that there's a community of folks doing them as well. That portion takes less than a minute, so sometimes I'll use that time to do stretches before the exercise starts. The length of the videos. The shortest exercises are usually 10 minutes long, while the longest are usually HIIT workouts and are for about 20 minutes. Emmy's longer videos can be pretty exhausting because she does multiple sets of the same exercises which makes me not very motivated due to the repetitiveness of it. Chloe's longer videos usually consist of multiple sets of different exercises, so I enjoy getting through them. Chloe lists the percentage of completion on the top right hand corner of every exercise video so that you know whether you're halfway through the torture or not. This is a useful bonus because it's motivating me to push through and inch my way to the finish line. Chloe's videos also abruptly end when the exercise is complete. While well, Emmy's just drag on for a while with additional small talk. I prefer to stop the video immediately and do some cool down exercises or do the next video and get on with my day. So I like the no nonsense of Chloe more than the family feels of Emmy. Sometimes I feel that some rest intervals between individual exercises for Emmy's videos are too long for certain easier exercises and that wastes a little bit of time. So a 15 minutes hit workout can actually be brought down to about 13 minutes. I would just forward the video a little if I'm familiar with the workouts. For Chloe's videos, I feel that she's given more thought to the exercises and how long an average body person can sustain on X number of reps per exercise. So the point I feel I'm exhausted from pushing myself on one exercise, there would be a reasonable mini break time to move on to the next one and push myself again. Music can really play a factor by making your body accustomed to the movement and doing the reps at regular intervals by recognizing the beats. Emmy's exercise music is more chill, ballad-like and a little slow pop, while Chloe's is more club-friendly, with faster beats which makes me more conscious of getting the reps completed in a certain set of beats. For Emmy's exercises, I would really know my limit on how many reps per 45 seconds. For example, 20 burpees within that period of time, every time. So it really makes sense to get to know how your body moves to the music and the maximum number of reps you can pull through for that short burst of time. 
Last but not least, thank you for watching this video. 